Understanding focus as a force multiplier in work is crucial. It's more about working efficiently on the right things than just working long hours, slogging yourself to death. This is how you get rich in two to four hours per day. I'm gonna reveal my full millionaire productivity routine. And if you didn't know who I am, my name is Charlie Johnson. I've sold over $10 million of online fitness coaching and help online coaches scale with systems and content. Now this is gonna be a four step framework and this is gonna help you move forward with big projects that are gonna help you achieve your vision for your future. Now, the most successful entrepreneurs don't actually work that many hours. They just work incredibly intensely, incredibly focused. And I'm gonna teach you in this video how you can 3X your productivity and what you get done for your time. And we're gonna break this down into four different steps. Firstly, we're gonna start the day before. And this is what I call plan tomorrow today. Now, what do you actually need to get done? What are your priorities? And something you need to understand here is the input and output equation. Now, back when I was a state agent, I left my full-time job 25th of February, 2019, before I went on this online entrepreneurial journey and, and then made loads of money and been really successful. The big thing that changed for me with this is when I was a state agent, I understood the input and output equation back then. If I just got all the leads for people who wanted to view properties, I sold the most houses. If I picked up the phone before anyone else, I got all the leads, I sold the most houses. Now, in an online setting, it's very much in terms of the same thing. What are the inputs of what you do every day? What I do, what you do? What are those things that generate leads? What are those things that are gonna do in terms of helping you grow your business? Now, there's only two ways you can grow a virtual online business. Booking calls, closing calls. If you do a high ticket offer, you're gonna to need to take sales calls and it's gonna to have to be like that for anything that's over a thousand dollar ticket price. Now, once you actually understand what your input and output equation is, there's a couple of really important things to do in terms of planning tomorrow. Work out what are the key things you need to do that are really gonna move the needle forwards. And the first thing you wanna do at the beginning of every single day, you wanna focus on working on the business, not in the business. Now, what does working on the business mean? Actually building it, not just doing repeatable tasks. Now, where most people get themselves stuck is they just create a job. You don't have a business. You have the golden handcuffs where you might earn good money, but you can't step away. Like I'm booking to go to the Maldives in two weeks. I'm not gonna work for three, four days. My income's gonna be the same. It will keep going up because I've built this businesses I have on teams of systems and the four different types of leverage you can have, which I'm gonna explain later in the video. Now, when you're getting ready to work the next day, this is what I do. I have everything planned out on a pen and paper of these are the projects I need to use. I also use Notion as my main project management software where I have a list of the tasks I need to get done every week. And I'll plan this on Sunday morning. So I'll plan what I need to do for the week coming up. But on the day, what I will do is have a piece of paper on my desk. These are the things I need to get tick off and get done. And when I wake up in the morning, what do I do? I don't have a four hour fucking morning routine with a load of bullshit where I sim kumbaya and stroke my two cats. I get up, I take my nootropic supplements, which I'll share with you in a minute. I have coffee and I dive straight in. I just make shit happen. My current routine, which is actually very nice, is I get my laptop out and actually sit out on the balcony. So I actually get some time outside whilst working and I can get super focused and get a hell of a lot done. And I'm gonna give you some hacks in a minute and how we can go into step two, which is what I call beast mode. But before we get into that, there's a couple of other things you wanna to do to make sure you set yourself up for success. Other than having everything planned for the next day, what we wanna do is initially minimize distractions. So. One of the mistakes I found personally happened to me, and this might happen to you, I'd leave my computer with WhatsApp open or email, I'd come in the next morning, turn on the computer and it comes up and I can't help but see there's a problem. Now my mind is gone and I can't focus on the thing I'm gonna talk about. And now this is gonna lead us into step two, which is how I call how to go beast mode. And this is how you grow your business and you change your life in the next 60 days by implementing these very simple strategies. And I'm gonna tell you a story. This is where most people fuck up. They wake up first thing in the morning, they look at their phone, they start scrolling TikTok, they go onto Facebook, they go onto email, they look for payment notifications. Your brain is searching for dopamine. This is mind fucking you and it's also distracting you. And you have something which you do not understand. And that's a very limited ability to retain information and in almost like your RAM process of your brain. You can only think about one conscious thing at one time. And I challenge you watching this right now you cannot multitask. Try and do it right now. Try and think about more than one thing at one time. If you can do it, comment below this video and let me know what you're thinking about. But this is the big thing that fucks people over because what happens next, you open up your phone, you see something you don't like, and then what happens? Part of your processing power of your brain is screwed because what you get 
is you get what's called memory lag. And part of this is where part of your brain, when you can move on to the next task, is still thinking about the open loop of the problem you saw a minute ago. And this is when you can't focus. You can't go into your deep work and you can't go all in a thousand percent with every part of your brain to try and solve the problem in growing your business and work on these deep work projects. Now, how do we combat this? How do we stop all this technology designed by the smartest people on human earth from distracting us? How do we stop this happening? Very, very simply, I'm gonna break this down for you now. The app I actually use, so devices of technology can be solved with technology, is an app called Opal. And what I do is I use the app Opal to block apps on my phone, Instagram, Facebook, Slack, WhatsApp, so that I can't open them until 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Now this allows me to be present in my own thoughts and to focus consciously on things and also not get distracted with bullshit that I might see on social media. But you might be thinking, Charlie, what if there's a big problem I need to deal with? Like, like what if there's something that's urgent? If there's something urgent, someone's gonna call you. Like if someone died, like, like he heaven forbid, say one of your family members died, someone's gonna call you, right? So if anything's urgent, they're gonna call you. Other than that, I very much go well by ignorance is bliss. This then allows you to focus on your task at hand then get a lot done in your business very quickly and think very concisely and helps you to actually build the life you want, not the, just the life you have right now. Now, this is why it's the best thing to focus on building a business in the morning because you have the most creativity in the morning, you have the most ability to focus and you have the most energy. So get up, go straight into work. Now, how do we optimize for beast mode? What I do is this. I get my noise cancelling headphones. I put noise cancelling headphones on. I then also have no music on because music is actually scientifically proven to distract you. So I no use the noise cancelling headphones so I have complete silence and it allows me just to be in my own thoughts. Number two is no bullshit on your computer browsers. So I use things like Facebook feed blocker, YouTube feed blockers, everything like this to stop you getting distracted. Like have you ever been in a position where you go onto your computer and you go on there to go and do something and then you forgot even what you wanted to go went on there to do because something distracted you? I have this happen where I go on to message someone on WhatsApp, I see another message, I get distracted with that, and I forget why I even opened the app in the first place. And this shows how little conscious thought and your ability to control your actions you actually have. And for you to be successful and to 3x your productivity, to make more money in less time, you have to control your conscious thought so you can get the right stuff done. Now, what I'm gonna share with you is a nootropic supplement list. Now, this isn't for everyone, and I wouldn't recommend everyone does this but this is what I personally use. It helps my brain perform at a thousand percent. And I can create a whole nother video on this alongside some other brain training stuff I do. And if anyone was interested in that, comment below brain training and I'll make the video. Now, some of the basic supplements I use. I take L-carnitine. I take one milligram first thing in the morning when I wake. I take two 500 milligram capsules of lion's mane extract. I then take 50 milligrams of modafinil, but I only do that on three days a week. So that's Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Generally, the days where I have a lot of intense work or a lot of creative work I have to do. I haven't done that today. Today's a no modafinil day because it's Thursday. But this is how I spread it out over the week. And I also allow what happens with modafinil, it has a longer half-life, that the day after you've taken it, you've still got some of the benefits. Next up, I take 10 milligrams of pregnolone, which is actually proven to improve memory and cognitive function. I then take 500 milligrams of cytocholine. And I also take 1,000 milligrams of alpha-GPC. So this is my basic supplement list that I take first thing in the morning with electrolytes to get my brain fully functioning. So when I go into my work, my brain is optimized and running at full speed. Now you have to understand that for you to create a productivity system, for you to make as much money as possible in a short time period as possible, your brain has to be fully optimized, but then you also have to have your full identity in terms of who you are, what you're doing, and all of your projects and deadlines aligned in time so you can actually have these aligned with meaningful goals and if you don't know how to goal set this is a huge thing that's important however winners and losers have the same goals all that changes is what winners do about them and if you want to be a winner you need to be able to think clearly and you need to take action from the things i'm telling you in this video step three what to go beast mode on during your monk mode deep work time like what work should i actually do now this is very simple high leverage activities. Now this is something you do once that is gonna give you a result for the rest of time. Like me creating this YouTube video right now, from the moment this is published, this will be the lowest time it ever has views. And this comes back to a very simple thing I just spoke about earlier, the input output equation. What inputs do you put into your business that create outputs in terms of clients and money for you? 
When you understand that, you apply leverage to the inputs. Now, there are four types of different leverage you can have. One is code as in software. Two is in capital as in money. Three is in people as in you can hire a team. And four is in media like content. It's like I make this video once, it gets watched multiple times over and over and over again. Now, an example of how to apply leverage and the input output equation would be this. Say if you're an online coach and you message people every day and you're trying to get them to sign up for your fitness programs. Here's an idea for you. Why don't you create an SOP, so a standard operating procedure, basically document what you do, how you do these conversations, how you book these calls, and then you hire someone else. This is what you do in your deep work time. Your goal is to actually buy back your time so you can focus on the high leverage activities that can scale your business, not just being chained to your job. And when you combine this with what's called Pareto's principle, which is the 80-20 rule, that 20% of actions and outputs create 80% of the results, your business then grows wildly without you having to work that much. Because you're doing the 20% of things that really make a difference. You apply leverage to them in terms of getting team members, you can make media, you can put money into ads. These are all forms of leverage which can help you grow your business with minimal time. And this is how I know, and I have friends who are making $1.5 million a month, $1.25 million a month, working four hours a week running paid ads into webinars because they have huge leverage. They're also using code. And this is the secret to get the life you want, is to understand the game. Now, when we're in our deep work sessions, it's important to understand time blocks. If you're gonna work three to four hours, you cannot work four hours flat out back to back. Even if you did lines of modafinil off your desk, you're gonna be in trouble. This is not gonna work very well. So maximally I work, recommend for most people, you do about 60 to 90 minutes in one go, have a break for maybe five, 10 minutes, maybe just go for a walk around the block, get some fresh air, get a drink and then go again. I don't like to eat during these periods because I find as soon as you start to eat, the blood starts going into your stomach and you lose some of the cognitive focus. Now, one of the things you're also gonna find within these times is that you're gonna end up with, your brain gets bored and you're gonna find your brain's gonna shoot off in different areas and you're gonna struggle to focus. I have really struggled to focus in the past and one of the most challenging things I did is I was meditating for a while and don't laugh for a very short period of time. I would sit for three minutes on the balcony outside with my noise cancelling headphones on, which I hear, and I would literally sit there and I'd try and think about nothing. So I would sit there and I'd just try and listen to my breathing. And as soon as I start to think about it, I'd be like, don't think about it. So I'd like, knock it out of my head. And you will see how hard it is to think about nothing and just focus on your breath. But the better you get at this, the easier it actually makes it for you in terms of actually focusing on your work and what's gonna make you money and make a difference in terms of your long-term future, not just scrolling cat videos and getting lured into picking up your phone. And if you've ever been there where you're like, you notice your hand starts getting like thirsty for the phone, that's something I feel a lot and that's an urge you have to learn to fight because it shows how your brain is being manipulated. Lastly, this is step number four. Avoid red shiny object syndrome. This is the pitfall and downfall of people and this is one of the big reasons why everyone has the same goals, winners and losers. Losers often get distracted with bullshit. The reality is for you to be successful, like I mentioned with the Pareto principle earlier, that 20% of actions create 80% of results. If you get phenomenally good at the 20%, you will get phenomenally good results from the 80%. And it's like why Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan practice the basics over and over and over again. And if you have an online business, you just need to book a call, close a call, you do that on repeat, you do that on scale, you make loads of money. It is really as simple as that. And do not get lured in by the bullshit that some people will sell you. And one of the most important ways to decide if something's a good decision or a bad decision, and I often look at things as like too hard. That's too complicated for it to work. Because when you hear someone's doing something and it works, you're only hearing one side of the coin. It might have worked for a week, but how long does it take them to get them to that point to get it to work? So your goal as an entrepreneur is to find the straight line system to success. The most efficient and scalable route that gives you the most leverage and you can report, and you can apply the four types of leverage I spoke about. And this is where you also have to understand the business is a game of simplification, not multiplication. You cannot keep doing more. And one of the best books I'd recommend for this, which will change your framework in terms of how you think about business, is that 10X is Easier Than 2X by Dan Sullivan. A great book. And if you think about where your business is right now, if you tried to 10X the activities you were doing right now to 10X your business, could you physically do it? It would be impossible. You couldn't. So you have to change the way you think about your business, think about leverage, how you hire team members, how you actually look to grow the business, because I guarantee you watching this right now, if you just 10X what you're doing, it's not gonna work. And I'm gonna invite you into the opportunity of how you can change your life. 
You simply apply the four steps I spoke about in this video consistently for the next 60 days. You can change your entire financial future, not just for you, but for your future family. And I did this myself in 2020 when COVID happened. I went all in, was doing this deep work block from like 5am for four or five hours, and it completely transformed my life. Was it hard? Yes, but nothing worth achieving in life is ever easy. And if you took a lot of value from this video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe. And if you wanna see more content like this, then make sure you hit the video on the screen right now. And if you want help in terms of scaling your online business from someone who's actually done it, there's a link below this video where you can book a free call to find out exactly how we can help you. Bye-bye.